Ladies, it's your turn. So let me give a little bit of background here. First of all, uh, when we came from God's status down to the 3D on this planet, uh, the planet is feminine. And so in order to get to the third dimension, masculine planet, I mean, masculine energy had to come down and subjugate the feminine. Otherwise, the planet could not lower to third dimension. So the masculine energy, and I'll try to say masculine instead of men and women, because, you know, it doesn't matter what body you're in, whichever is predominant in your physical body. But the masculine energy had to do its job first, which was um, make become shadow. And when they became shadow, then in response to that, the divine shadow was created, which both of those working together were very instrumental in taking the planet down to the third dimension. Good job, everybody. Way to go. Awesome. Created some cool, cool ass experiences that nobody thought could happen. Now we're going back the other direction. So there's no way in the world I would ask the feminine to step out into a world that did not have divine masculine, a safe place in divine masculine for them to step out and be, uh, be authentic because it's dangerous, very dangerous. So that's why I did the videos. So even though I had to bat around a couple people who were defending the shadow, I still was able to draw forth a couple of very, very good divine masculines. Now, most of you have watched Michael and you knew that he was divine masculine from the get-go. And if you don't, start over with my videos and then watch him. But one was not enough. And I don't, I didn't know how many men had to step up in this particular uh, group or scenario to, to provide this safe space, but I knew when it was done. Now, the other two are Jeremy and G-Man. Jeremy, G-Man, and Michael all put out videos about the same time. Don't necessarily watch all the rest of their videos, except Michael. You can watch his anytime. But uh, the Jeremy and G-Man were in the process of getting to those videos that they put out, what was it, yesterday? Over the day or two? Yesterday? I don't do time worth anything. So, with the three guys, Michael, Jeremy, and uh, G-Man, that was enough to give you guys enough data that if you go on and watch those videos over and over, you can identify Divine Masculine. Now, what you do at this point is you go out in your world, because before you were trying to create Divine Masculine, not knowing what the vibration was that you were sending. So you would send out what you thought was a good guy, but the vibration was off, and so you would be drawn to not good guys. Because there was so little, if any, well, there was some, but it was so slight Divine Masculine that you didn't know how to vibrate to send it to the universe to create it in your lives. Well, with these three guys, just listen to them, feel the vibrations. Now, after you've got it, go out in the world and insist and look, search for that vibration in the moment. Not in the whole guy or the masculine person, but in the situation and build on that and say, yeah, that's what I want right there. I want more of it. And if you get confused, watch the videos of the three guys again, send out that vibration and it will come into your life. When you feel it in your life around you, where you're getting better at calling it, don't date these guys. Don't marry these guys. Don't just identify the vibration because what you're doing is you're going to a collective consciousness where the norm is going to be divine masculine on the planet. At that point, then you can step into your authentic self Look up what divine, just like I told the guys, look up on the internet what divine feminine looks like, what divine, what shadow looks like, and look at what you are doing moment to moment, day to day, and correct it. Correct it. Just like I asked the guys to do it, correct it. You ladies know what we do, uh, identified as gold digger, manipulation, um, uh, Oh, on and on and on. Those are things that the women have done to, in order to deal with the shadow masculine. Again, no reason to attack the women any more than the men. It simply was the process of the game in order to get the planet in the third dimension so the creator gods could experience the lower vibrations in amnesia. Okay? Not the point. The point is that if we want to go to to 5D, 
you are going to have to be able to identify the masculine vibrations on the planet and boost them. Send them to the universe and say, yep, I want more of that. And then step into your true divine feminine self and really, really promote that. Now, in that process, all of you in whatever creative consciousness you're in, the better you are at it, the more you will have better and better interactions with not only male and female. As that occurs, then you will be able to trigger you will, whichever you are, divine masculine or divine feminine, you will be able to straighten that up in your own self. And then as you get the vibration in other people, they will mirror back and get you to trigger and spark the divine opposite in you. And then you will merge the two. And over time, that's what we will be talking about. We were talking about that the divine masculine needs to make the, the safe space for the woman or the feminine and then the feminine needs to step into that space the two of them begin to work together divinely and then that will happen inside of you and you can bring up the other side of you whichever you're, you're not the most of and put those in balance merge them together and you'll do the same thing with the planet okay you're going to do it inside and outside at this point i would imagine that those inside and outside is going to happen almost together I don't think you'll be doing inside and then outside or outside and then inside. On my timelines that I'm looking at, it looks like they're happening very much together at the same time. But ladies, just like I tell the men, uh, most women know what women do. That's the reason we, why we watch each other so close. It's the reason why we know we are very, very dangerous. And there's nothing more dangerous on this planet than a mad, vindictive female human nothing nothing more dangerous and we know that instinctually so i want you to do is just like we're trying to get rid of that shadow masculine then ladies we need to not allow the shadow um, feminine now on both sides this planet will continue to have shadow masculine and feminine but just like it will continue to have the reptilians and the pigeons and the geckos and all of this other stuff the trick here is to know that that is a separate game. You are leaving that game. Let them play. It has nothing to do with you, but you are out there looking for the people that are playing the game that you are going to play. These are people who know that they are creator gods, even if it's instinctually, who are correcting and going to oneness with no judgment, no expectations, living in the now. Okay? All righty then. Let's see how you guys do with that one, and I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye now.